with acrylic art paintings. I'm super excited about this video because I took a challenge for my acrylic art paintings group on Facebook. And the challenge is to do a pour on fall colors using yellow, red, orange, and brown. And I'm gonna use a new technique that I've been wanting to use. And let's pitch the paint and see what it gives us. Let's go. Okay, I'm using an old canvas panel and I'm using Artist Love directly from the bottle to um, create a background. I have already primed my canvas panel in order to, and I've already lightly sanded it as well in order to create this new background. So if it is very important that if we're gonna pour, we pour while the paint is fresh, okay? Um, so now I have my colors that I have already prepared with just paint from Apple Barrel and 10% water and only the red one has silicone in it, okay? I also want to mention that I put a little bit of brown in each of the colors, okay? Now, this is the pitching motion that I'm gonna be doing with the paint. So I grab my canvas and one, two, three, go! Uh, well, that wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting a little bit more flow, so I'm gonna go here and see what happens. And I, at this point, I don't know what to expect. I just want to use the rest of the paint that I have in my cup. So I'm gonna start tilting and see what the pour gives me, all right? I still see a little bit of the background in there from the previous pour, and I'm not sure whether I like it or not, so we'll see what happens. So I'm just using a little bit of, uh, the little bit of paint, you know, I don't like to waste paint. So uh, let's see what happens. At this point, I am going to torch, like I said, only the red color, only one color had silicone in it. And as you can see, there are some cells that are starting to form and I'll show you up close what they look like. And um, at this point, it's only a matter of not stretching them too much. So that's it for me at the moment. I am not gonna stretch them. You can see that they're starting to look way too stretched. I'm going to create an eye because this thing looks like a buffalo to me. And so there is a little bit of brown and I'm going to add a little bit of yellow and start creating the eye in there. And I still don't like it. So I, I think it needs a little bit of red. What do you think? Okay, so I'm adding the red and that looks more like an eye. So I'm gonna tilt it a little bit, stretch it and see if it moves. And that's how it looks. See, I love those cells. I really, really like those cells. So with a toothpick, I'm going to start manipulating the paint in there to create the shape of an eye. That's the iris. And now I am forming the shape of the outside of the eye. All right, and I'm gonna show you how it looks like uh, fresh, both fresh, and uh, how it dried at the end of the video. See, this is how it looks like. I'm happy with my little buffalo bug, and I'll show you right away how it dried, all right? All right, guys, here's my buffalo. Dun, da, da, da. And as you can see, it's already dried, and you can still see the background of the paint that I had before. I'm not sure whether I like it or not, but oh well, it's there. But here's my buffalo, so now it's your turn. What are you gonna, gonna come up with full colors to fulfill this challenge? So 
come and share with us at Acrylic Art Paintings Group on Facebook. And until then, keep pouring.